all right let's understand the very important topic with respect to aws any kind of certification is s3 s3 is a storage service or uh, it helps in storage just to simplify things how does uh, it we can relate s3 so let's see if you are using windows you are you might be aware that we use folders and inside one folder there might be multiple files as well as folders uh, but the concept uh, lies that a uh, single folder and you can store multiple files in it similarly in aws we don't use any kind of folder but instead we name it as bucket so the bucket name should be unique we'll cover this uh, in a short while also in hands on so bucket will have multiple objects so these objects are nothing but files in aws we don't refer to as files instead we refer to as objects whether it can be like mp3 or like uh, can be json or csv txt file you name it we'll name it as objects whatever you keep inside the bucket i hope you can relate how it relates with our uh, like windows system what we call folder it's known as bucket and what's known as files it's known as uh, objects so that's how you can remember things easily we'll uh, go through some theory part of it that a single object can have up to like the size can be 5 terabytes so this is as per the latest documentation these numbers i have seen with my experience change from time to time they they might increase in future you need to refer like what is the maximum size uh, because you know these things might help uh, in real exam any kind of cost related uh, question with respect to storage then uh, like s3 is the cost effective why is it cost effective because uh, we can use life cycle policies where we can move objects from standard tier to archive tier we'll look at uh, this things in a while in hands on as well uh, but for now just remember s3 is generally uh, the cost effective solution and next comes uh, your bucket name should be unique as mentioned like why the bucket name should be unique i cannot name anything like which is already present like uh, common name can be amit also uh, we'll try this out we store generally uh, unstructured or semi structured data like csv json in s3 Uh, we use if it is a table we might use different aws services like uh, rds dynamo db which is a nosql database redshift for data warehouse those kind of stuff but when it comes to semi structured or unstructured we generally uh, dump these files in um, s3 right i hope you got the concept let's do some hands on related to this concept okay so the console looks something like this i have already visited this that's why it's showing me but if you want to search any service just write here in the search bar we'll get s3 let's open this and here we can see there are a list of bucket names right uh, these are already created um, these uh, the public buckets which are accessible should be shown like this i will create one bucket by clicking create bucket this is uh, the region where actually uh, s3 is global but it's uh, like it will confuse you uh, conceptually it's global bucket name should be uh, let me show you uh, this concept amit is a common name so uh, if this bucket is available then only we can create otherwise we, it won't so i've given one common name uh, this bucket name uh, might be used so i'm just trying uh, Uh, this out with basic settings we'll cover versioning as well and tags you know can be uh, especially with related to like um, billings and cost so i can uh, uh, write uh, name it as like uh, like uh, dev uh, and uh, the value can be uh, like uh, with respect to your project like it, you can mention it, uh, s3 or something so this looks i'm keeping this as default settings for now if i create click create bucket see the bucket name already exist so as mentioned theoretically a bucket name should be unique right so let's uh, give it cloud guru amit let's hope okay <laughs> someone made me famous they are using this name as well i haven't created 
okay let's give it cloud guru 007 so let's create this we'll go down and create it so this is how we uh, create a bucket so our uh, bucket uh, got created here we can see uh, the bucket uh, this is uh, what I mentioned uh, like the folders so let's open this and now if I upload anything here so it won't I won't call it as file rather it will be called as objects so let's uh, try and uh, upload uh, something so let's say I'll uh, create one text file name it as uh, let's say dummy I'll write I am uh, whatever cloud uh, guru Amit let me save it I'm, I've saved it let's upload uh, the file let's upload the file dummy file let's click on this upload so yep our uh, uh, dummy file it got uploaded now so uh, this will be named as now uh, like we'll call it as object so this is uh, what the basics of s3 that is whatever we create inside a bucket uh, the bucket name is this one and uh, uh, this is the object name so I hope you got the concept of buckets and objects so let's uh, meet in uh, next, next video where we can uh, discussion more about versioning concepts and all.